happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. How about some fun facts? First of all, his name is not Patrick. He named himself that after he went to school, he studied and he learned how to be a priest. And he did all of this in France. And then he named himself Patrick. He was actually born with the name Maywin Sucat, S-U-C-C-A-T. How would you say that? So he was born in Scotland in 385 AD. He died in Ireland in uh, March 17th, 461. Now, one thing I read said he was 78 years old, and then other things I read said he was over 100 years old. Uh, but most of it talks about him being 78 and being a very healthy but exhausted individual as he spent a lot of time converting people to Christianity. At the young age of 15 or 16, and he was captured and enslaved by, by Irish pirates. So remember, slavery's been going on a long, long time all over the world. And then at around age 22, he had a vision. He had a lot of visions and dreams in his life. And a lot of these visions came to him from his favorite sheepdog who came to him as an angel. And the angel said to him at age 22, there's a ship that's gonna be coming, get on this ship and get back home to your family. So it led him to a ship. He got on that ship and he did return back to his family in Scotland. At that time, then he had some other visions and some other dreams that came to him about studying to be a priest and that that was his calling. And he did do that. He continued on um, in, in France studying for this. And then after that, he returned back to Ireland. And at that time that he was in Ireland, he spent his life um, in poverty. He spent his life teaching people about God, about Christianity. and. One thing apparently about this, turn it the right way, is with this shamrock, he used this as a visual to teach people about the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So that's where this came from. Another interesting fact that he did not wear green. Green was not the color for St. Patrick or St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it was blue. So that's what he wore. He wore blue and blue represented him, his teachings and his name, St. Patrick. Um, later on, then it got changed to green. How about the first St. Patrick's Day parade? Okay, two things. One is that it was in the United States and it was in Florida. I can't find it. It was in another part. I'll put it in here somewhere. So we don't know really where the first St. Patrick's Day parade occurred. St. Patrick supposedly created the Celtic cross. So that symbol, which I will insert here, and you've all seen that. So um, he's the one who apparently created that. So besides that, the color was really blue at first for a long, long time. And that this shamrock was used to try to, as a religious tool to learn about the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity or that the um, Celtic cross was created by St. Patrick, or the fact that he was captured by pirates and was sold into slavery at a young... What are some other things that you learned that you didn't know about St. Patrick's Day? Oh, and he was never canonized by the Pope. Okay, I hope you learned something new. Please hit the subscribe button. If you like fun things like this, I do fun facts and I do an awful lot of health related type of information. I tried really hard to find out what he died from, could not find what the cause was, but back then, who knows? Um, and they didn't necessarily know why they died back then either. Have a good St. Patrick's Day.